we are back from our fourth editorial meeting and um, when I opened the door today to Anthony, he um, walked in looking like this and he likes to explain himself. <laughs> yeah, I was going to say I'm doing the method. Um, Cairo, uh, I don't know if we mentioned, he's a boxer or was a boxer uh, and he's trying to uh, renew some sort of training uh, in his 40s uh, <laughs> as the book starts. Um, I've actually just come from a game of tennis, which is more Grace's world than Cairo's. Um, so uh, next time I appear, we'll have a shirt on uh, as normal. But um, talking about Cairo and Grace, they've become like the real focal point of the book, as we've talked about before. A lot of today's meeting has been about condensing um, what I've written and, and, and the, the, the draft of the novel and cutting away a lot of stuff that is not necessary to Grace and Cairo's story and to the story we're telling. It's been really interesting, really instructive, actually, in the way that uh, the novella works as a form compared with compared with the novel. And obviously, I've written novels before, and the way that they are, the novel can be much more expansive. You can have characters and storylines that kind of wander in and wander out, and in a way that in this form it doesn't really work. So a lot of the process that we undergoing now and that I've been thinking about but particularly with Micah's help today is to, is, to, is taking away a lot of these characters and, and extra information and extra stories. I don't think it's necessarily taking away characters, it's just actually amalgamating them, combining them. Yeah, that's true actually, because yeah. there is an example, um, so it started, I mentioned the boxing thing, uh, there's, a, there's a, I have three characters that we've basically merged and, and, and turned into one. Um, there's a character called Trevor who's a boxing promoter, um, only mentioned in a few lines really. Uh, Ronnie who had been um, Cairo's trainer years ago um, and another character called Jamie Iqbal and they've essentially all become Jamie Iqbal so you'll never hear about Ronnie and Trevor ever again <laughs> unless I decide to use them <laughs> elsewhere because that's also like the way that this kind of thing works. I might well um, they, you know they might have they might have a, yeah. a story to tell because the other thing is having written novels but also having written novels that are pretty much set on the same streets that this story is set there is an element of overlap with um, you know themes and ideas that I've written about but I before. think you introduced uh, through Grace somebody who is coming from London very middle class you, you yeah very a totally different. new element. Uh, into into this book, um, and I think that's also been a challenge for you. Yeah, I think so. And that, and, um, yeah, very much because it's, it's it, it, there's a part of it that becomes about uh, well, Cairo being looked at by Grace, or like you know, her visit to Dudley, like being looked at sort of by an outsider. I mean, it's further complicated by the fact that um, that I live here and. It, you know, in that sense of like, well, this is partly about a kind of certain element of being in London and, and, and the book's also partly a certain element about being in the black country. And actually, with the wider context, some of the differences, like cultural differences, differences in attitudes and uh, and misconceptions um, between the two. So that has been a struggle. Yeah, to, it's also been a struggle to condense that into a story where there are characters that aren't um, that aren't purely kind of symbolic but but are up to a point you know they, they, they represent the kind of backgrounds and places and experiences from which they come. I think the the um, the work together is actually quite interesting because you're the one who has um, and you have to go through all of those thought processes. Um, you know, to, uh, yeah. What is Brexit about? How you react to Brexit? We had a lot of discussions about um, the, the politics and the state of the country, so to speak. Uh, but ultimately, my job is is uh, very much just staying very close to the storyline. Is the story working? Are the characters, you know, are they actually real characters? Do they really fall in love? Do they really hate each other? Um, uh, the plot does it take over? You know. 
again, the scenes, there are too many uh, sort of, are there too many scenes saying the same thing? Um, can we cut them? So I think that's also been quite interesting to, the, um, yeah, you, you had the bigger, the bigger thoughts. Yeah, and I maybe. just kept my eyes on, on the techni yeah. technicality, on the functionality of the text. Um, yeah, and that's been a fascinating process. Hopefully it will also deliver in terms of what the final piece of work is. But the the condensing of the of the ideas is, is, is really what we've been concentrating on, obviously in today's meeting, but I think it's kind of what we've been working towards in a lot of this process, like the like last kind of month or so. And now we have three weeks to go, <laughs> so yeah, we'll so. be back. <laughs> yeah. thanks. Okay, thanks.